Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now, I got four videos coming out today. I just put out the first one, and that one was uh, on Tristan. Well, not, not Tristan, but it was more so on the Tates suing suing H3H3 and Daz for defamation. And now this one, what I'm going to talk about is... I ain't going to lie. Mr. Beard sort of got Sneeko, and I sort of... It, I'll pivot off of this video. I don't have any notes written down, so I'm going to be riffing a little bit. But I'm going to pivot off and talk about, like, why Sneeko may need to sort of adjust the way that he, he delivers things, right? Because I think that it could work for the better. It could work for the better for him. We'll get into that. So let's, so let's go. Let's, 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 hope. let's play the video. Oh, wait. <laughs> I muted my computer. Sorry. Ah. All right, let's get it. So, Sneeko has talked about me for the last two days on his stream. Yes. But rather than actually watch my video, he's just been insulting me. He has. And while he's insulted me, he has said literally everything that I predicted he was going to say. For someone who loves to call other people... <sighs> it's gonna get worse. It's, it's gonna get bad, guys. This is, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Regardless of whether what Sneeko says is right about him, I agree this is bad because I talked about in my previous video. It's the optics that matter. And he got this nigga. He ethered this nigga. I mean, it's like the Drake, I meant like Drake versus Meek Mill. Meek Mill exposed Drake for getting peed on by P. Diddy, and he didn't do anything. That's objectively worse than anything Drake actually did, like say, factually speaking. Bro, you got peed on by P. Diddy? You know what's in his pee? But nobody cared because the way that it was delivered. And all Drake really said was, Is that your girl tour? Is that your world tour? Your girl's tour? Basically like, okay, like, you ain't shit compared to your girl. Which is, I mean, it's a good insult. But bro, come on, man. Like, you, you got peed on by P. Diddy. You got peed on by another man and you didn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you got a ghost rider. And, and you can say, like, the fallout with... with one is objectively worse because Drake Drake still feels the remnants of criticism for having a ghostwriter, but he still has the success and everything. And because the optics of it, he still has the success. So he won. So you got a ghostwriter. You're an illegitimate rapper. And you got peed on by P. Diddy. You're a bitch. You got emasculated and you didn't do shit. Those are two objectively worse things than, oh, man, your girl's more successful than you. Okay, I mean, it's pretty bad. Okay, yeah, you ain't more successful than your girlfriend. You kind of like the bitch in a relationship. But you got bitch by P. Diddy. You got peed on by P. Diddy. And you don't even write your own raps. You're an illegitimate artist. The king wears no robe, or whatever the fuck that phrase is. All right, let's continue. People, predictable bots, I am now going to prove to you that Sneeko is the actually predictable bot. Hi, Sneeko. If you happen to be reacting to this on your stream, I just wanted to say I'm very excited to hear all of your incredibly insightful commentary about how I'm a... Dude, the smug look on this guy, so he's delivering the whole time. Hi, Sneeko. I'm super excited to hear your... It's like Chet You Betcha or something. Chet You Betcha here. <laughs> Chet You Betcha. Fat, ugly, weak, beta male pussy. Why do you look like that? You're the largest baby I've ever seen. We just watched somebody overweight do 10 push-ups. I'm sure you'll say that my suit makes me look goofy. Put on a suit for this. And that I'm a massive nerd. Revenge of the nerds. Who's boring. You're boring! And not funny. This is not funny. Don't forget to start spamming L and the whale emoji in the chat. Free Willy. He even got the chat, bro. He got the chat. About 50% of Sneeko's content is him just repeating what someone just said in a condescending tone. And if Sneeko reacts to this, I predict he'll repeat a bunch of the things I say in a condescending tone as well. Drawing a conclusion based on a small sample size. Oh, right. Well, actually, well, actually, you made a broad statement that's not statistically accurate. Because why refuse? Dude, he, he got him. He's getting him, man. This is all... It, it's all true. Now I get I get why Sneeko does this. I get why Sneeko does stuff like this. I don't really I mean I will keep we'll keep watching, but I I get why he does it because it's more entertaining and it and it it draws people in more for the success. And I get that, but the kind of fans that you'll be bringing in with that is like what really is your message? You talk about the message that you have, but I, I think you focus a little bit too much on the trying to entertain aspect or try not even entertain but like trying to 
constantly stimulate people's attention and their fucking ADHD so they don't click off your video and you bring on more people. I think he tries to too much to stimulate that and he doesn't really get the message out and articulate his points as much, right? Because when I did see Sneeko videos in the past, before I really started watching him, when I did see him, he articulated himself very well. He's he's very he's a very intelligent man. He's a very intelligent man who's capable capable of communication and understanding people's points. And it shows in his ability to be able to interview people. Because that's essentially making conversation. It's being able to interview people and you asking them questions based off of what they said, which means you have the ability to listen to what they're saying. Sneeko has the capability to listen to these people, but he chooses not to, and he opts out of doing it for the entertainment aspect and constantly stimulating your mind thing. And it sort of illegitimizes his whole movement. He talks about this movement, but how can you have a movement when you're doing stuff like that? How can you bring on the people? You can bring on kids doing that, and the kids will listen to you, and the people who already agree with you, they understand what you're trying to do, but the people who are like kind of like, mm, I don't know. It may it, You'll turn off a lot of people, and it'll hurt you. I think it'll hurt you in the long run more than anything, right? It, 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 because it, you talk about the debate thing, and honestly, when I saw your debates, the people who were really running the debates more and really made the debates super interesting, more so were the people you brought on than than you. In the debates, you you don't really like. You're not a good debater. You're not. If if the, if you competitively debated, you'd, you'd probably lose every time with the things that you do, because you can't just go like, oh well, uh, uh, you can't do that to people. You can't just mock people. That's that's childish. You know, it, when you bring on people like Nick Fuentes and Destiny, they would make the debates more interesting. I would say even Jadeon was a, was doing a little bit better than you in debates. And I do not, like, Jadeon's kind of low IQ to me. You know what I mean? He's, 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 just, he's just low IQ. But yeah, let's continue. When you can just condescendingly repeat what they just said. Absolutely no logic necessary. Sneeko will also criticize left-leaning people's content for being too long, which makes absolutely no sense because Sneeko will regularly post videos that are over That's an true. hour long of him just... That is very, very true. <laughs> ...rambling the same thing over and over again. Sneeko might even criticize this That's video for being true? too long. It's a fucking 57 minute long video. Sneeko, this video is so long because you say so much dumb shit that it takes a long time to debunk it. I'm telling you, these, these commentary channels are obsessed. Sneeko, it's my job to criticize people. Yeah. I mean... He got him, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like the Mr. Beard dude. I don't like whatsoever you... I, 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 in terms of content, the kind of stuff, I, I don't... I'm not a big fan of the dude. I'm not a big fan, but he did get Sneeko in this. And one thing I wish Sneeko would do more is actually, like, research things that he says more. Just re speak on things that, that you really do know. Certain things you hear a little bit, of, you can tell he hears a little bit about the conspiracy theory, but he doesn't really look into it more. And I try not to talk about stuff that I don't really know about, like, whatsoever. You know? Like, I try not to talk about it really at all. Or if I do know a little bit, I'll, I'll reference it, but I won't speak at length about it. And then if I have to, I'll really like, all right, here, here's the here's the link, here's the source, here's the whatever. Sneeko will make a full-on video or just a full point and confidently speak on it and keep on talking on it and talking on it. And he may not even know what the fuck he's talking about. Now, it's not to say everything he talks about is like that, but... It's just some of the things, sometimes he, he, he can't do that. And stuff like that, that'll hurt his cause more than anything else. Because like you said, you're going to be the new face of this, this movement after the Tate's move on YouTube. You're going to be the new face. And they let that responsibility to you. And you have responsibilities now. Your content has to adjust. And since you've came back, while you have made some small adjustments, I don't think that they're big enough. And I don't think that they're good enough. You have to make better adjustments if you're going to be the face of this. And you see yourself as being responsible for this all. Responsibility, man. If I'm moving to Florida ain't enough. Of your content, it's probably because I think it's fucking terrible. They're obsessed. They are fans, but they don't know how to be fans, so they hate me. Are you a fan of the people you've made multiple videos criticizing, like that's... H3 or Hassan? What a stupid fucking argument. That, that's a good point. You got him there. Look at that. He's got clips from my stream. He, this dude does... Now, I didn't watch the original video that this Mr. Beard dude made because I heard it was just a bunch of out-of-context stuff. All right. You know, I mean, I never watched, I didn't really 
watch the video or feel the need to. Maybe I maybe I should have watched the video. But this one, he did get him. This isn't even out of context stuff. This is just, yes, you're using his own words against him. And you predicted everything that he's going to say. Extensive research, they all do. I mean, yeah, maybe you put out low-effort response videos where you don't bother to do any research into the people you're criticizing, but I'm not that type of creator. And it is incredibly stupid to try to criticize me for doing my job and properly researching you. If Sneeko responds to this video, I'm sure he'll respond like he does to everyone who criticizes him. Not by actually listening to my arguments. L look at this. L look at the side. Ad hominem. Appeal to nature. Identity follows a poison. Bro, wow. This is what I mean by predictable. This is why we don't need to watch the video. But now, what I will give Sneeko is, is probably live. He does live stream. He does a lot of the stuff live. He doesn't write the stuff down. It'll be really hard to come up with arguments against somebody who... You know, this. he definitely did write this stuff down. He scripted it out and he thought about this. Sneeko's just riffing off the top. And it's not an excuse, but that's why he does that. I think that's why he does that. It'd be really hard to do that. And like, I see a lot of people in my comments, they say stuff. And I'll read it like first time. And I really don't want to go back and forth and debate in the comments. So I'll just go like, wow. Or I'll just like, I'll just, I'll just blow it off. You know, like I, I don't, I don't, I don't care enough. Now, if this were to come to me in a debate and I was prepared to talk about this, not even like say I had to have like research to have the, the debate, but like I'm prepared to like I'm prepared my mind mentally to talk about it. And you came to me and I knew it would be a debate. Yeah, I mean, every person that comments, I could it ain't even debunk because everyone wants to throw that word around. But I'd be able to pretty much retort everything that they say, every point that they make. No one has said anything to me that's that's valid. I mean, the most, like, someone came to me and said my hairline is receded. <laughs> my, my, hey, it was the Nick, the, the, the Nick is not green. I was like, really? That's the lowest we're going to. My, I have a receded hairline. Okay. But, yeah, no, that's just my opinion, man. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to watch the rest of this. Y'all get the point. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think Nick, do you think, oh, not Nick, whatever the beard dude is, do, do you think he got him? Do you think he didn't? Let me know down in the comments below, and uh, I'm out. Peace.